Welcome to Fatafat Chutney with your washer. Today, I'm going to show you how to make chutney with this yellow cucumber and you can also use a regular cucumber if you can't find this. But these are uh, super good and tasty. Here, I've cut this into small pieces. So let's go ahead and make this. First, we're going to take some oil in a pan. In this, we're going to add coriander seeds and we're going to slightly cook these uh, coriander seeds. When the coriander seeds are slightly cooked, we're going to add the fenugreek seeds, not too much, very little. Once the fenugreek seeds also slightly get cooked, we're going to add peanuts and sesame seeds. Adding all these nuts and sesame seeds make this, uh, you know, full of uh, good nutrients and slightly saute them. Once you can feel the nice aroma coming from them, that's when you're going to add green chilies. I'm going to cut these green chilies into halves otherwise sometimes in the oil they can burst and you can have oil all over you okay that's good so just toss them in this we're going to add tamarind okay that should be good enough and just let the tamarind also slightly cook in this oil when this is done we're going to add soaked chana dal not too much very little this much is good enough now we're going to add salt and we're going to add the cut pieces of cucumber along with the seeds. They also make very good for the chutney. You don't have to cook this too much because this cucumber tastes great even when raw. So you don't need to cook too much but we're just going to saute this for like less than a minute. Then we're going to add some coriander leaves and toss along with this. That's it and we're going to put this in a blender and make it into a coarse paste. We're going to transfer this into a blender. You know, usually these chutneys are grounded in a stone pestle. So when you put it in the blender, do not make it into a fine paste, make it a little bit coarse. Because if you grind it too much, a lot of moisture will come out of this and won't taste good. As I told you, make sure this is done coarsely. You know, these kind of, uh, what I call it solid chutneys, these are best eaten with uh, you know rice or even with uh, you know chapati or anything and it can be eaten for breakfast or even for lunch and but i prefer to eat these kind of chutneys along with a simple plain dal or uh, you know with curd rice and so on and it tastes so good now let's make the tempering for the chutney temperings are usually done to enhance the flavor of the chutney and also sometimes to give a crunchy effect to the chutney so for this make sure you add oil and when the oil is really hot, add mustard seeds. The mustard seeds have to splutter, otherwise your chutney is no good. Then add cumin seeds, then add chana dal, that is Bengal gram. And now reduce the flame and in this add red chilli. And this red chilli getting cooked in this oil also releases good flavor. And now add urad dal wash, that is the split black gram. And this split black gram is usually the one which gives a crunchy effect to your chutney. Now cook till this lentil is slightly colored and gives out sweet flavor. When the dal is slightly colored, add hing and curry leaves. But just before adding curry leaves, switch off the flame, add curry leaves and they will still splatter. And even after switching off the flame, the oil is hot enough to cook this lentil little more. So little more cooking happens. Never, never ever burn any of these tempering ingredients because the whole purpose of the tempering is to enhance the flavor, not to destroy it. So make sure this is carefully done. And also a lot of medicinal reasons. It helps in digestion and so on. If you want, you can also add some tempering and it will taste super. Very easy. Very simple to make, but if you know what this kind of cucumber is, I'm telling you, once you taste this, you will fall in love with this. If you do not have this kind of cucumber, you can use the regular cucumber, but they ooze out more moisture. Make it and just you'll enjoy it. Mm. Wow, just out of the world, super and awesome. 